Called in a favor. when it is. No, I mean, what's going on isn't good for the saints. You knew that coming into this. I mean, right now. What's going on right now? You have no idea, do you? Uh, apparently not. Uh, come to Smiling Jack's Diner and I'll show you. <sighs> this better be worth it. Sure thing, dog.
What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it. I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers and... We're on it. gonna trash the saints on air. I'm sitting with a man the wrestling community has called the Walking Apocalypse. Is such a moniker intended to frighten your fans as well as your foes? Not at all. It's an inspiration to all my fans to rise above the meager existence of a Fuck man. Fuck him. And what about those that don't share that opinion? Some may call that preying on the weak. It's the ones who see each person as nothing more than a paycheck. So what's the deal, Kinsey? I sent you coordinates to seven radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. Before the break, you mentioned the kids you've helped. Ah, yes. Kilbane's Crunch Camp. <laughs> It's a two-month summer program that gets kids off the streets and into the ring. There's been some concern from parent groups. Well, that's because parents are f Maybe they should focus on a real threat, like the Third Street Saints. Strong words. Kids fall down and get hit with steel chairs all the time. I'm just providing a... What are the Deckers doing here? They probably use these antennas for the Decker you set. Not surprising they need guards. Wish I knew that sooner. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. Makes me kind of wonder what else she's up to. Who cares, as long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. Come on, she wouldn't do that. You sure about that? Yeah, maybe. Actually, no. Fuck. No one in this city can match me.
units of the van. Van? A broadcasting van. It's where the signal is being sent from. So that means they're in there? No. Use the laser signal tracker to help me find the broadcast location. Hold up. A, a laser signal what? The light on the helicopter. Shine it on the van. Johnny would love that one. Steelport will be mine. Murder Brawl 31 is your upcoming wrestling event. What do you say to the accusations that it is just legalized killing? Well, it's entertainment for the masses, nothing more. But you admit people do get hurt. Oh, of course they do. I may be carved out of sacred marble, but occasionally a chip breaks off. Cry about it, I'll just smooth out the edges. Great, they're running. We must have spooked them. Isn't for the weak. Jump on a grenade, and you have to expect the blast to tear you to meaty, blood soaked pieces. There may be children listening. All right, uh, uh, kids, uh, don't play with grenades and just play hands off. When we come back with Kilbane, we'll take a few calls from our listeners. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Now let's have a little fun. What are you gonna do? Okay, patching yourself through. Looks like we have a caller. You're on the air with Kilbane. What's your question? Hey, listen up, you hijo de puta. You had- I'm sorry. Do you have a question for me? Yeah. How are you gonna do these interviews with your jaw wired shut? Uh, perhaps this has gone just a bit too far. I'm not sure that's a question either. It sounds more like a threat. I don't do threats. I do guarantees. Okay, we need to... Ooh! Someone talked to a washed-up wrestler, and now they think they can cut him... This looks like the place. Get him out. Quickly and quietly. Quietly? Relatively speaking. Not same practice. Where's Kilbane? Bet that reporter knows. Let's ask.
It's been a while. You look good. Where's Kilbane hiding? He mentioned heading north. You're not after me about the interview, are you? Get in the copter. It's time to find Kilbane. Let's put a bullet in that son of a bitch. Just keep it steady so I get a shot. Better not miss. Of interview, members of the Third Street Saints confronted several of his associates, gunning them down in an abandoned office building. Your very own Jane Valderrama cornered these now infamous killers to ask them their thoughts on the accusations of the self proclaimed philanthropist. While the conversation was punctuated with guns waving threateningly, the message was clear the Saints want to end Kilbane's life. The reasons behind this murderous intent did not come out, though the recent release of a video showing their involvement in the destruction of a memorial bridge in... ...Stillwater may have sparked their ire. This is Jane Valderrama, risking life and limb for you, Steelport.
Thank <laughs> you.